Welcome to this in-depth walkthrough of Random Machine by Sound Device Digital, an innovative audio plugin meticulously engineered to break through monotony with its dynamic randomization capabilities. Random Machine has six distinct effects integrated into it. Formant, pitch, timing, ambience, pan, and distortion. Each can be randomized independently. The percentage shown represents the amount of randomization you intend to apply. Setting it to zero will put it in a bypass state, thus consuming no CPU resources. Let's go through each of the parameters. Formant randomly changes the formants of the processed audio. This one messes with the character of the sound, giving it a different vibe. Pitch controls the pitch randomization of the processed audio. It introduces unpredictable variations, adding a natural liveliness to the sound. Timing further extends the realm of possibility, introducing random variations in the temporal structure of the processed audio. Ambience sets the randomization amount of the timing and spatial aspects of the reverberation. This transformative feature enhances the depth and richness of compositions. Pan controls the randomization of the sound in the stereo field. Imagine moving the sound around in your headphones or speakers. That's what this does. It spreads the sound out differently, making it feel like it's moving around you. Distort serves as a conduit for randomizing the level of distortion or saturation applied to the audio signal. This randomization of harmonic elements gives sounds a raw, gritty, and distinct quality. Now, let's talk about the three different randomization modes. Random Machine has three options right under trigger. Transient, Sync, and MIDI. Transient initiates randomization based on incoming audio signal transients. The sensitivity parameter regulates the level of responsiveness to these transients, fine-tuning the triggering process. Sync aligns with your door's set tempo, determined by the length parameter. It consistently triggers changes based on the chosen setting, which specifies the duration and type of note utilized for synchronization with your DAW. The last one is MIDI. This requires MIDI routing, for which most DAWs have the capacity. The steps vary across different DAWs, but the idea is essentially the same. You send any MIDI information, whether it's monophonic or polyphonic chord MIDI patterns, to the plugin that triggers a function of the plugin. In this case, we tell the plugin when the next randomization will take place. Now, let's move on to the header. Random Machine, like many modern effects plugins, offers two settings for easy comparison. Simply select A or B and click Copy to transfer settings between them. And of course, the plugin comes with a set of presets which should do the trick for most cases or give you a good starting point when tweaking your sound. Access them using the right and left arrows or by clicking the preset field directly. You can save and manage your own presets there as well. Quick tip, since the randomization can sometimes produce unexpected results, you can automate parameters for fine tuning. For added creativity, try bypassing the plugin on certain sections and applying a different instance with a unique setting. What I like to do is print or export the processed audio with my initial settings and blend it with a new one. I can just splice things later to get the result that fits well with my track. So there you have it. It is now up to you to explore the rest of the intricacies I haven't mentioned. There is a plethora of combinations you can try with this plugin. Care to know more about it? Grab your 15-day fully functional trial version at unitedplugins.com.